so this is going to be part two of my April empties. I had so many empties I had to split it up into two videos. Just to keep things a little bit interesting, I took off the lip gloss I was wearing and decided to put on a lipstick. I am wearing MAC's Pink Pigeon. I'm sure that I'll have part one uploaded by the time that I upload this one. So I will link part one of my April empties in the description box along with my empties playlist. This thing is my Mark for Goodness Face Face Cream. This is the Blueberries and Dark Chocolate. It's antioxidant, skin moisturizing lotion, and has SPF 30. I mentioned that I went through a whole tub of this before in my very first empties video I ever posted on my channel. I don't plan on repurchasing it again. It is a very greasy, thick, opaque cream. I used to put it on my face because it had SPF in it and I do have fair skin, but I noticed it was very uncomfortable and it left my face looking shiny and greasy. And it's definitely not one of those creams that sinks into your skin and you can apply makeup over top. But to be able to use this up, I've basically just been using it on my shoulders where sun might hit if I'm wearing a tank top. This is a very, very, very old Victoria's Secret Tease lotion, as you can probably tell by the worn sticker package. But I did finally use it up. It's a full size of the Noir Tease Scented Body Lotion, Black Vanilla Frozen Pear, and Blooming Gardenia. This is a really nice scent. Honestly, I don't think I'll get the fragranced lotion again though. I'll probably just end up buying the perfume because I prefer the perfume. So my camera battery is dying so I'm going to try and speed through this. Our Jewel Scent Candle. It's from the Signature Collection. It's the Pink Champagne Natural Soy Blended Candle. This is a very soft, sparkling champagne. Very subtle. I love to burn this when I was reading my book before bedtime and it's not one of those candles that you'll sit in the middle of the room and expect to spill up the whole room. Also, I didn't know this until I started burning the candle but the liquid is actually has like sparkles and shimmer in it and it's very flattering and it just adds to the whole aesthetic of it. I guess. But I definitely would get the pink champagne scent again. The second candle I have is from Target. It's the Sugar Rush Sea Salt and Caramel Corn Scented Soy Candle. I don't like buying candles from the drugstore because a lot of them don't burn evenly, but this one did. And the smell of this is just like caramel corn that you would get from the county fair. I liked this, and I think this is the only Sugar Rush candle that I'll buy from Target again. Now onto all the smaller empties that I keep inside of my leopard print bag. I have two hand sanitizers. This one I obviously bought just because it has Hello Kitty on it, but it actually was a really nice scent. And bonus is that it's not one of those hand sanitizers that dries your hand out. It contains vitamin E, so it moisturizes your hands as well. And I think it was only a dollar at Walgreens, so when I see this again, I'll pick it up. And then this is just a regular Pure All Advanced Refreshing Aloe. Again, it moisturizes your hands because it has aloe in it. This was a Lush bath bomb that I used about a month ago that I had to mention because I loved it so much. This was the Spicy Pumpkin one that came out around fall time, and I just used it about a month or two ago, and I loved it. It was an orange pumpkin that had chock full of gold sparkles with it. When you emerge from the water, the water is orange but it doesn't stain your skin or anything and the sparkles sit on your skin and later that day I went to work and when I was looking down at my hands, my hands were covered in sparkle but it wasn't that non-flattering chunky sparkle. It was the really pretty golden gleam type sparkle. Totally loved this. Totally loved this spicy pumpkin scent and I would definitely repurchase it. This is the Bath and Body Works Dark Kiss Body Lotion with Vitamin E, Jojoba, and Shea Butter. This is the Signature Collection. I think they moved this on to an online exclusive, the Dark Kiss fragrance. Definitely repurchase it, but right now I have other fragrance lotions that I want to get through, so I don't plan on repurchasing this anytime soon. This is the Neosporin Eczema Essentials Hydrocortisone Anti-Itch Cream. It's a dual action formula because it's a fast relief of itch flare-ups due to eczema, which I don't have, but it also moisturizes to restore healthier visible skin. This was inside of our linen closet, and I wanted it because during the winter I like to use fragrance-free hand creams, and although I don't have eczema, I did have a need for this. It's supposed to be for any itch, so if you have any patches on your skin that really itches and to keep you from itching at it, this is what you're supposed to use. Honestly, this was really nice as a moisturizing fragrance-free hand cream as well. Would I advise you to go out and buy it specifically as a fragrance-free hand cream? No, because there's other ones that are more affordable and do the same thing. I just wanted to throw it in there that some products that have an intended use can be useful for other things as well. I went through another one of my L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner. This is one of my tried and true liquid liners, but I don't plan on repurchasing it again anytime soon because I have found another L'Oreal liquid liner I prefer way more. If you've ever tried the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim, it's my 100%. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite black drugstore liquid liners. One, you have to layer it up a little bit because it's not as ultra black as I'd prefer, and it dries out quick as well. However, if you're a beginner, this flexible felt tip will really help you get a hands grip on to how to do your liquid liner. A while back, I ran out of my travel size MAC cleanse off oil because I actually did a comparison video of the Garnier Nourishing Cleansing Oil versus this one. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box. This is a sample I got with one of my Avon purchases. It's the Anew Clinical Overnight Hydration Mask. 
I believe it's a brand new product and that's why they gave me a sample for it. It was one of those transparent gel-like masks that you massage onto your face and it dries clear. I'm not in a rush to go out and buy this because I have tried the Freeman facial mask that worked just the same as this one. The gel mask actually formed to your face and honestly, I could barely tell it was there because I actually left the house with it still on and I forgot that I had left it on. This is an Ulta Brand Sharpened Pencil Liner in the shade Blackout. I don't know what the actual name was. I absolutely hated this. I definitely do not recommend this Ulta whatever it was. This one was absolutely horrible. It tugged on my skin. It did not sharpen right. It poked my eye every time I went to go use it in my waterline. It was not as creamy as I prefer. And don't let it fool you because when I swatched it on my hand, it seemed a really nice formula. But once you try to go put it in your waterline, it does not transfer at all. So I would definitely say no to this little guy. And the last thing I have is a Kat Von D high voltage eye primer sample that had been sitting in my sample box for the longest time. It's in the shade skin and I used it for the first time ever and I was very disappointed that it was like five shades darker than my actual skin tone. I tried to use it on my lids but it's meant for girls who have like medium or tan to deeper skin tone because girls who have very fair fair skin it's going to look straight up yellow or tan on you. I will say though in its defense that it was very full coverage which is really nice for if you have discoloration or veins on your eyelids. So if you have a medium or tan maybe deeper skin tone and you're looking for a full coverage uh, eye base this might be nice for you to look into. So that was it for my part two of my April Empties video. I really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, and hopefully you'll stick around for more videos to come. Bye.